Hello boy army, welcome to another spicy one on the channel. In this video we are going to be looking at all that Black Friday has to offer on FIFA 22. Normally a time for companies to sell their um, unwanted stock or just give some discounts on stuff. EA, the company that I always give, obviously don't do any discounts but we do have a new promo today. So, we're going to go over it. First of all, to say we've got the best of team of the week. It says team one, so I think the rumours I'm hearing is on Sunday we're going to get best of team of the week too. Bit scummy from EA, I think they should have just done it for the whole week and just had the best players. But this is the best of team of the week one. We've got we've got the inform Mbappe, inform Salah, Son, Suarez, Goretzka, Foden, Hazes, Navas, Firmino, Theo Hernandez, Vinicius and Upper Makana. Obviously missing players like Neymar and Messi. That is a very good team, though, and adding these um, informs to packs, that's pretty good. Makes a lot more really good packable cards. I'm not going to talk too much about those. Then it's just an extended t team of the week. One thing we are going to get, though, during um, this promo, is Flash SBCs. So, obviously, you go to Squad Building Challenges. Um, and then I think it's just stuff like this. You can see here, 15 minutes remaining. 45 minutes remaining so it's a rare goal plat plus an extra one and what do you need to do it it's a 70 rated team so you're getting really cheap backs uh in flash upgrades um yeah very easy to do and obviously they're probably not going to give you a good pack but they're a lot cheaper than usual so if you fancy your look why not go for it but the main part of the promo is going to be um the what you call it the actual signature signings that ea announced let me see if there's anything in the objectives they put anything in here black friday so there's black friday things uh premium gold players if you do that not too exciting really is it can't see any objection there what's this rivals one i oh, got okay yeah they fixed that Oh, we've got an untradeable ultimate pack here. Didn't realise I still had that. Let's open that and see if we get one of these signature signings in it. Maybe that's one way we can reveal one of them. There's a bunch of these foundations players that I've not really discussed. Pretty good, but not going to get into many top, top teams. Let's open this ultimate pack, though. It's an 84 plus guaranteed. I mean, if you don't get a walkout in this, it's awful. Have I got a signature signing? Kramerich. Fantastic. I mean, there's one of your signature signings. Um, yeah, when you see that you've got one of them, though, you don't want it to be Kramerich. So, oh, well, uh, better than what I usually get. Some tradable as well, actually, isn't it? Why is he at the end there? Is his card actually any good? One of these, his card, if he had an extra 10 pace, is really good. Because if you had an extra 10 pace, he's 4 star, 4 star, you're getting 99 um, pace with the Hunter, 99 finishing, great shot, good on the ball, good physical, but yeah, he's just too slow, he's never going to go near my team, he'll be an SBC fodder at some point. Um, but yeah, better than usual what I get in these packs. Oh, that's another thing as well, EA will be doing lots of lightning rounds. Um, we've got all these here. Packs remaining, so these aren't like lightning ones in the sense of you have a limited. Oh, it's, they are actually in the sense of expires in a set time, but they're actual lightning ones that you've only got a set amount of time to do. So, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to be opening any packs. I, I think packs should be open at the start of the year if you do. Good luck. Okay, so I've got the team up here for me. Eh? Let me have a look. So, we'll start off at the bottom. Carlson. I imagine, by the way, they might add some more to this. They keep seeming to add them a few more, so it'll be interesting to see what else we get. Uh, that's not the right Carlson. I have no idea what this guy's first name is. Um, is it him? There we go, Jesper Carlson. Four star, three star. Fast, decent shot, amazing on the ball, pretty good physical, but actually not that good physical but yeah um freestyle week for that's probably killed the card a bit not a terrible card but i don't think anyone 
is too excited about that one. Edwards. Does anyone know where this guy came from to go to play in Portugal? I know about him, but I don't really know much more, really. Again, another card that if you had a four-star week, it would be great. This is still a good card. Um, Do you have finesse shot? No. He's one of the best dribblers in the game, which is pretty crazy on this card for an 84. Solid enough passing. Awful physical. With a hunter, very solid to very good shot. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to get too excited. Now, the next one is one of the big ones. We'll look at this guy's price. Let's compare him as well to his normal card. So, Renato Sanchez, always one of the most popular cards in FIFA. <clears throat> um, especially in the lower end, like the cheap budgets. We've got three pace, six shooting, five passing, four dribbling, four defending, four physical. Pretty decent buff. Um, not insane, but pretty good. This midfielder now, the 84, is going to be one of the best in the game. Uh, what is his price coming down? This is obviously what matters all the time. Harland, you can get a new contract, my boy. Let's have a look at his price. Where is the signature thing? It's a cool card animation. Not that I tend to care about that that much. But... Okay, he's over 600, maybe? Nope, okay. He's just over 500. Not a shocking price for the card, considering this is like a few hours after they've been released. That was nothing. EA released it. Uh, what was it, um, 2 p.m. UK time, which is pretty unusual for me, to be honest. Okay, so very good card, and it's one of these that is going to fit a lot of pro player teams. Atal. This guy is now the best right back in the game out of non-icons. Maybe could be better than any other right back. Let's compare him to Mike Kifu. If he is, I'd be tempted to sell Kifu. Let's have a look. He's quicker, better shot, not that that matters much. He's also got the weak foot, which is quite nice. Same height. Uh, his passing's quite a bit better. But a lot of that is in the crossing. The dribbling, I will 100% take a towels with that agility balance. Um, defending, Cafu's a lot better there. The physical, Cafu's better. It's pretty close. But for the price tag that I imagine a towels going for, I'm probably going to Go for him. Is he 100? Probably not. He's 120k. 120k, you've probably got the best right back in the game um, there in terms of value. He's definitely... No, I don't want to put Kafu in the club. He is um, definitely up there, even with the icon. So, very good card. Uh, we've got Kramerich. We're not going to look at him because we've already seen him. Diego Carlos. Bit slow for this point of the game for a new card at 80 pace at centre back. Good though, um, just a bit too slow for me, so I'm not really going to dwell on that one too much. Jimenez from Wolves. Massive, massive pace upgrade. Good to make him a bit more usable. Um, it's an okay card with a hunter, makes it pretty good, good physical. I just don't think it'll be that special in game, but it's a solid enough card. Vitzel. I just think this card looks too slow. Decent pace upgrade on his uh, gold. Four star, four star of those stats is great. I just think he's too slow. He's not that good at anything either. He's solid all around. If he had like 85 pace with how he is across the board, it'd be good, but just not enough across the board, really. Now, debatably the best card out of all these, the rat, Ben Yadair. What a boy. Four star skill moves, five star weak foot. Actually pretty decent physical, this one, after the plus four upgrade. Seven stamina as well is a big upgrade on this card. Um, I like this card a lot. His dribbling's going to be insane. He's already very good at dribbling on his gold card. Um, can pass okay. His shooting's fantastic with a hunter. You're getting near 99 pace. This Ben Yadair is an elite card. Um, what is he going at, though? That's the thing. If he's under a mil, in that is good value for what the card is. But obviously, I think you can get him a lot cheaper than that. So he's coming in about 800k right now. He could end up dropping to like 500-600k. For how good that card is at this point of the game, it's pretty good. I compared him to Midji Sabio earlier off this video. And he wasn't as good. But Midji Sabio is like 3.5 million. And it was a comparable card in most ways. Screenra, I wish they'd given him more pace. If he went to 85 pace, 
He is a top, top tier centre back. He's still pretty good. He's tall. He's got a good weak foot. Um, he's very good physically. His defending is up there with some of the best in the game. With a shadow, you're getting 98 interceptions, 97 defending awareness, 99 stand tackle. I don't think slide tackle really matters. He's really good. I used his gold card earlier this year and quite liked it, to be honest. Um, the 82 pace is not as bad as well because the 86 sprint speed turns into 96 with shadow. Very, very solid card, this. But, um, yeah, I think it needed three or four more pace to really push it to the top, top end of centre-backs. And then the last one, the only 90 plus, plus rated card in this one, Kevin De Bruyne. Pretty good upgrade in a few ways compared to his uh, gold card. Not huge, but the four pace, four physical loads, pretty nice on De Bruyne. This makes him probably the best non-icon midfielder in the game now. Um, I would still potentially go Haaland for the pace and physical, but most people wouldn't trust me on that. But yeah, this De Bruyne, very solid all-round card. Um, I like it. I definitely think these cards are decent. Add more cards to the meta. I, as always, though, with a new promo, I just wish they brought a bit more to the game than packs and potential SBCs. But that's Black Friday with EA. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. As always, keep it spicy.